Hi all, in this video I am just going to give a demo on how to add Google accounts. So is it possible to have one more Google account? I mean one more Gmail ID we can use in a single device or not. Yes, it is possible actually. So you can use n number of Google account. You can use n number of Gmail IDs. You can have you can access n number of Gmail accounts within a single device. So that that device can be a laptop or desktop or your uh, mobile device, the Android device or your tablet or even your iPad. So whichever device you are using, you can access n number of Google accounts. Okay, within a single device. So I'm just going to show how to add one more Google account in this device. Okay, so for that first, we are just going to settings okay so here all the settings are available just go down here under accounts yes it's here under accounts will be having three options over here mi account google and accounts and synchronize uh, so here whichever app is using account suppose if you are using teams app so even that will come under this so as it is a mi phone here i am getting mi account and google so I'm just going to Google as I'm going to add one more Google account in this device. So here is the mail ID which I am using in this device. Okay. So I'm just clicking on this arrow which is present after the Gmail ID. And you can see I'm having two different Google account. Okay. I can, I can switch over between any of these accounts and I can check the Gmail, I can attend my Google Meet, I can attend the Google Classroom or I can see the Google Photos, Google Maps. I can use all the uh, apps whichever is uh, related, whichever is connected with Google okay i can use both these email accounts okay so that there will be no clashes there will be no problem at all so for to add a new account we have to go to and add another account in this so i'm just clicking on it add another account it is asking you to confirm the password so here i have to type the password of my device okay it is not your google password it is a password of the device So after typing the password, just click on next password of your device. Okay. Suppose if you are having fingerprint or even your face unlock, you can use that. So now it is asking me to sign in. So here is the Google account. I have to give my Google account. So I'm just going to use my another Google account. Already I have two accounts in this uh, and I'm just adding my one, another Google account. sorry okay so krishu1705 at gmail.com so this is the third account i'm just going to add in this okay so just after typing the gmail id just click on next button make sure you have entered the correct spelling next it is asking for the password so i'm just typing the password i don't really change the password So after typing your Gmail ID, as usual, we have to type the password. Now click on next button. So as usual, it is asking for the controls and the permissions. I'm just clicking on skip button as I'm not going that uh, going to use that particular email in this mobile permanently. Okay. So again, as usual, Google place terms and conditions. So just like that, I'm just going to click on agree, whatever it is will not at all consider uh, that you will just click save and agree for all the things now you can see this new mail id has been added okay so now i am using three email ids in this device okay now i'll show you how i am going to use it in gmail okay so first i'm just going to go gmail app I'm just opening the gmail app now you can see at the right side sorry uh, mail okay so now uh, gmail got one more option as google meet so without even downloading the google meet app you can directly go here from uh, gmail itself okay so i'm just clicked on mail here at the right side top corner we can see i one of my mail id is here so if i want to change if i want to swap it i'm just clicking on it i will get all my accounts whichever i have signed in so whichever we are clicking that will that um mail list will come for me okay so it is just taking some time okay that's it so here now you can see the dp has been changed okay which means uh, i've just got a 
email id of i mean the emails of the other account okay so this is how you can use these google apps i mean the google accounts in any app it can be a google classroom it can be a google meet it can be a gmail google photos whatever app it is you can by just clicking on like this you can change the uh, google account okay so in the next video i'll meet with something else thank you